Should I sell my home and buy another one now or should I wait? That's what I'm talking about today. And we're starting right now. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And welcome to my seller series. And in this series, I like to discuss anything I can do to help you sell your home. Lots of tips involved in these series. Lots of great, great advice that I can give you as a potential home seller. So today, I'm going to talk about if you're thinking about selling and then wanting to buy a new home, should you do so or should you wait? While market conditions should play a role in this, your first steps is actually to check out your finances. So my number one tip is your personal finances. Just because you wanna sell and wanna buy a new one doesn't mean you can. You need to see if you're able to. Do you have money for a down payment? Do you have money for closing costs? Most importantly, what is your current FICO score? Have you been at your job for two years? Those are things that you need to consider if you want to sell your home and buy a new one. If the answers are my FICA score is bad, I don't have any money saved up, then I would not sell your home. Obviously, when you sell your home, you are going to make some equity. That's another thing you need to think of. If you sell your home, how much equity are you going to make? And are you going to use that equity to put on the new home? My advice is to get in touch with the local lender and see if it's even possible first before you consider anything else. If you need recommendations for awesome lenders, I have quite a few I work with. Number two, timing on the market. If you're trying to sell your home to sell at the top of the market, good luck, because we don't know when the top of the market is. In my opinion, I kind of think it is now. Uh, I think right now is the top of the market, and I think it's only gonna keep on going down but I could be wrong. So sellers don't know when the top of the market's gonna be, but take advantage of what you know in the present. We know that homes are selling now. We know that there's very little inventory on the market now. So take advantage of those key factors and also interest rates are low. There are tons of buyers out there wanting to relocate to Nevada, Las Vegas. We don't have enough homes to sell. So actually, the timing on the market is now. Which leads into the housing inventory. A shrinking inventory means there are not enough homes on the market to support the amount of buyers shopping, which in turn is typical supply and demand. Since there's shrinking inventory, if you wanna sell, there's less homes to compete with. But that also means if you wanna buy, there's less homes for you to buy. So that's a caveat right there. However, since the interest rates are, I mean, historically low right now, why not think about buying and selling, right? Take advantage of these very low interest rates. A lot of people get nervous when they have to sell their home and buy a new one. And I've worked with many clients where we had to do this, regardless of the current economic status or the current situation that's going on with the world right now. If you were thinking about selling and wanting to buy a new home, for many reasons, buy it. Upsizing, downsizing, or you're just tired of your neighborhood, now may be a good time to also buy. Don't be scared of buying because of what's going on in the low inventory. I've helped several buyers, regardless of situation, still be able to get them some concessions, like some closing costs. I mean, there's several different strategic ways that I can get you a great deal on a home. But the most important factor is, is are you financially able to? Speak to a lender. See what your FICA score is. Let them assess your financial situation to see if it's even possible. And if it's possible, then you know who to call, right? You need to call me. <laughs> if you list with me and buy from me, I'll give you a great deal on that listing of yours. Food for thought. 
I hope you're enjoying my seller series and if there's any advice you have to sellers about selling your home and buying a new one, leave a comment down below. It's really not as scary as everyone thinks. Um, the one also scary thought that my potential sellers have is that what happens if I don't uh, find a home to buy while my home is under contract? And there, you know, unfortunately you may have to um, find an apartment to rent until you do find a home. And unfortunately you may have to move a couple of times until you get it right. It's not as scary as everyone thinks and it is possible. It's not unheard of, it's not uncharted territory and it's something that we can do together. If you're thinking about selling your home this year, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 or post it to a seller form link down in the description below. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and subscribe to my channel. That's an order, just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.